Back at 844, and this morning on our special series celebrating La Vida Latina, a mom putting her engineering skills to work for babies in need. Today, contributing correspondent Jenna Bush Hager has her great story. Jenna, good morning. Good morning. When Yamile Jackson's own son, Zachary, was born a preemie, she developed a way for him to feel her love, even when she couldn't be there. Now her invention is used in hundreds of hospitals worldwide. As a little girl growing up in Bogota, Colombia, Yamile Jackson dreamed of an engineer. I always loved the technical field. I love math, and my dad was an engineer. Yamile came to the U.S. and got her Ph.D. in industrial engineering. She also fell in love with a Texan named Larry. They married, and five years later, Yamile was pregnant. But their joy was cut short. I was pregnant and I had preeclampsia and it became severe very quickly. So we had to go to emergency surgery for him to be born. So I always say that he was born to save me because I was the one that was sick. Zachary was born weighing less than two pounds. You were a first time mom, a new mom, and you would spend all day with your son. Yeah. But you were told at night you needed to go home. Yeah. It's very unnatural for a mom to go home after giving birth without a child. That doesn't get any easier. You have a child and the house is supposed to be, you know, a mess and is very quiet. Then the unthinkable. Tropical Storm Allison flooded Houston and shut down the hospital where little Zachary was in the NICU his life support cut off. We had to keep him alive by hand for nine hours until he was evacuated. And I made a promise to help babies on his behalf. And Yamile wouldn't forget her promise. But how she would help other premature babies started with the garden glove. One of the things that I asked as soon as Zachary was born was, what are the things that are a common denominator for babies that are in the NICU when they grow? And she said, they don't like to be touched. And I'm Hispanic. We touch for everything. We say hello, goodbye, if you're happy, if you're sad. And I couldn't imagine giving Zachary a life without enjoying human touch. Dr. Schwazinski from the Cleveland Clinic explains. They have IVs inserted. They have blood drawn by painful techniques. And a lot of what we do causes pain. So they do have an aversion to touch later on. And Yamile came up with her own solution. When I was in the NICU, the nurses taught me how to use my hands to comfort him. And so I was like, okay, I can do these, and I will do these or hold them for the 10 hours. I, I don't mind, but who's gonna do that when I'm not there? How did you decide, okay, I'm gonna leave a glove then so that my scent's with him? And it was, you know, gardening season, and I saw all the displays, and I'm like, I wonder if I can use one of those and simulate my hands. So it really was your engineering mind at work. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she left the glove covered in her scent with Zachary overnight. The nurse called me a couple of weeks later from the NICU and said, you know those little gloves that you made for Zachary? Can you make them for the rest of the unit? It took Yumile three and a half years to come up with what she called the Zaki, pillows shaped like hands that simulate the shape, scent, and touch of a parent. The Zakis are now used in hundreds of hospitals in more than 30 countries. And the little boy that inspired them is now 11 years old and thriving. He's in fifth grade and he loves the drums. He loves playing golf with Larry. He loves art and he loves to see how things are made. So he's a little bit like his mother? I think so. You call him your CIO. Yes. Is that right? Yes, he's our chief inspirational officer. And he has business cards that says it. <laughs> Everything that I do is, is because of him. He gave me purpose of my life, and not just my personal life, but my professional life. So he's, he's my inspiration. <laughs> Yamile has also donated Zaki's to hospitals worldwide. And if family wants to donate, she will also match their donation. So she's doing such great work. Well, and as a preemie myself, a large preemie who's grown up, <laughs> <laughs> I think she was pretty incredible. It is amazing. Mm -hmm. I did not know that about preemies not wanting to be touched. No, so and I like to learned. be touched. So maybe I had a Zaki. Yeah, so we love to touch you. Yes. Jenna Bush Hager, thanks. And in honor of Hispanic Heritage <laughs> Month, by the way, you can find a full list of Hispanic innovators at NBCLatino.com.